responding to an actual space that people live and work in is really exciting because the artwork is also alive in a sense. It's not just contained in a white box, but it's really like a living, breathing, experiential thing. Every time you look up at the piece of art, somebody sees something a little bit different. There's really nobody else making work like this. The fact that it's not within the, I think, traditional environment itself, being galleries or museums, institutions, uh, is very, I think, refreshing. You know, and I think that this is an opportunity to potentially start that conversation of how art can function within these types of spaces. We had some early meetings where we looked at a bunch of different artists. One of my favorite aspects of the whole project was, was really looking at all the artists that, that were uh, under consideration and figuring out which ones from their historical body of work would be the best fit for our space. Well, let's face it, at the end of the day, we're usually at work more than we are at home. So we're trying to create an environment where people are excited about coming to work. I really wanted to create something that was going to draw the viewer around this curve. It's going to be experienced in a multitude of different ways, from below and from all around, from inside and outside. This installation is comprised of about 200 pieces of water jet cut aluminum that have been hand painted. Initially, I used road maps that were often routes that my father had traveled, who was a cross-country truck driver. But over time, the work has become more and more abstract. And obviously, these really evoke land or bodies of water or cloud masses. Um, and people often try to identify specific places, um, which is funny because a lot of times they're invented places or they're cobbled together places. So I think that they, they evoke something, but they also allow you to invent your own world. I think in this particular case, actually, Ara was excited to respond to the commissioner's interest in the, you know, the idea of almost a seismographic topography. Something that reads as blue from a distance will actually be uh, constituted of alternating patterns of vertical color. So you, inside that blue, you might have a gray, a green, a pink, something very unexpected, but from the right distance, it kind of congeals into a, an average tone. How RF solves those problems is honestly beyond me. Um, a lot of that happens inside the studio, you know, a lot of tinkering. I mean, it's almost like it's a video piece that's been stopped and you're looking at this pretty powerful still moment, but it still has this life or this um, ability to, you know, kind of pulsate a bit. And I think a lot of Ara's past really informs the, the work that he's creating right now. You can literally look inside of the work, especially in this particular piece. Um, you know, the relief is up to four inches deep in, in sections. With Ara, we knew that his work was uh, conducive to illustrating this sort of strata-like um, layering of compositions. It was a, a collaborative process between client and artist uh, to make sure that everybody is happy ultimately with the end result, but it's also going to be timeless for the, for the community of Houston. The wonderful opportunity that I have through this is helping an artist realize a work of art that they may not otherwise have had that type of opportunity. Now, I don't think Ara would have gotten around to making a 12 foot long piece uh, with this extreme relief had we not connected with the right client for the piece. Responding to the challenge or the brief of the project can really set something new in motion for you as an artist um, that maybe you would not have set out for yourself initially. I think every single time I see art, I think it's wonderful that somebody took the time or there was the care behind noticing that there was a need and sought an artist out to have a work created or to purchase an art to support the arts in general, um, which is why you know I really love what I do.